Okay, let's talk about another much debated and beat to death topic on these cars is the pump. Uh, what you can't control is the pump pocket. This one is a tight 3000s and that is beautiful. Um, anything over 5000s or a super duper grip, uh, deep grooves, I wouldn't use the cover or I would make a high volume pump mandatory. The other thing where most people go wrong is setting the end clearance. On any cover that is worthwhile and easy to use, or good to use, these gears will be slightly above this surface. And then that's how you control your end play. Uh, the end play spec is two to six thousandths uh, per the service manual, and that's too much. Uh, six thousandths I would never run. So you start off with a gasket, and I basically just assemble a pump a bunch of times after some quick measurements and find the gasket that is as tight as it can get but lets the gears be free. Now here's another option and I know some people don't like it but it is useful is you can get the shim gaskets and you can see they're available down to one thousandths, one and a half thousandths, two thousandths. Uh, I try not to use them by themselves but I'm not going to lie there's a lot of them where I've used a one and a half or one thousandth shim gasket and haven't had a problem. The big thing with all these, and it's another myth, is people don't like these plates. Uh, they cause leaks is what they say, and that's a bunch of bull. They don't cause leaks. What cause leaks is, is when stuff's not flat. Okay, This one here is made out of 4140, and I can guarantee you that's pretty daggone flat. This one here is from Melling. Not sure what it's made out of. Um, it's repackaged by some vendors and sold for way more than it's worth. Um, you know, it's not a bad plate. But this one here is superior. You get that from Bison. Um, if everything's flat, it goes together, you can stack these all day long and you're not going to have a leak. So usually what happens is it gets this set up, a plate, and then the, um, the cover. Now, I don't know about you, but you can see the wear pattern on this housing which is from the steel gears so the steel is obviously a lot harder than the aluminum so why wouldn't you want your steel gears riding up against a steel plate chances are it's not ever going to wear you can set your clearance tight from the word go um, it's kind of like a girdle from your oil pump is what I've been told so I've had a lot of success over the years using stock volume oil pumps on high performance builds um, I do use some high volume oil pumps as well. Not really going to get into the debate about that with you guys, um, but it will work both ways. Uh, it's been used by many people over the years. So this is just my way of doing it and it's more information for you guys to have.